hardcore diet fans, how are you doing? It's Rusty from Porky's Corner, the voice of hardcore dieting. Today I'm joined by Gary from Manchester. How are you doing, Gary? I'm all right, Rusty. You? All right, mate, yeah. Uh, what's Man U win? Yeah, yeah, they're doing well, Man U, aren't they? Liverpool are not doing so good, are they, mate? I'm in bits. Right. Uh. How's your dieting been going on? Because we haven't done a video for uh two week, two two and a half week now. So how's it gone, Gary? Um, it's going. It, it, it's going to plan. Um, it's going as expected. Um, as we've discussed in previous videos, now I'm not not really looking for any any massive shift because I, I know only too well that's probably water or. Salt retention. I've just got to see that steady ounce is coming off. And at the minute, um, getting my mind used to that and getting happy with half a pound here and half a pound there is difficult because most people that are doing dieting, they want half a stone in a week. Yeah. You know, they want ridiculous things out of it. And I think I'm long in the tooth enough now to realise that it's only that steady reduction that, that that actually gets it off and I, I had a little jot up before that's why I was asking you what date did it start um, and, and my target is um, 23 pounds I want to get off in 12 months which puts me at that 15 stone well it's, actually I actually think it's 24 pound puts me at 15 stone 13 pounds um, no have I got that right no 14 stone 13 pounds uh, and that works out roughly um, Two pound a month, and I'm close on two and a half pound a month at the moment. So oh, I'm not, I'm not, um, not overly bothered. Um, it's just a hard slog. And anybody that wants to say dieting is easy, um, and I know nobody does, but um, I think you've got to. I think the big battle, me, is the one you've had, and the one I'm going through now. Uh, I know we call them the food devils or whatever you want, but um, it really is going as long as you can without eating. And then, and then when you eat, you've got to eat and drink healthy, just like everybody knows how to do. But what nobody knows how to do, what nobody's conquered of, is the ability, the mind over matter, to start beating them food devils back going longer and longer periods without eating. Yeah. What do you think of that keto diet, Gary? Have you tried that? Done the keto diet, yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm actually on uh, the, the my version of um, healthy keto. Um, if you look at on, on YouTube, uh, there's millions of videos out there on keto. The, the best one I found is Dr. Berg on keto because he goes on beyond keto. And he's got videos called Healthy Keto. It's well worth well worth looking him up. And all it is essentially is 75% vegetables and salad and 25% protein. And because they're on keto, they eat the 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 uh if they go looking for burgers, they're looking for full fat burgers, not 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 the lean ones like I've I've done over the years looking for Fat free, you know, or as little as you That's can. That's why they have chicken wings in it on keto. They're a big. It's big for big for chicken wings because it fats in it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, a, a lot of the goodness is in the fat, really, isn't it? Yeah. But the the problem with it, and and why I tend to stick to healthy keto, hence why I have the um, bowls of soup to just to just grab, um, is because he's operating the, the least amount of calorie intake, but still healthy keto. Still keto because even on keto, if you follow the keto diet, the only stuff that you can have apart from fats, as in your your, your proteins and your your fat in your milk and your cheese and all of that. Um, sorry, if I've lost my thread there. Well, just tell me what your question about the fats and that in keto in, in cheeses and that's all you have and that proteins are seventy five percent. It is, but Doctor Berg's moved on to to the the, the calorie deficit. You know, e ease into your healthy ketones. And what was what I was uh, getting around to saying there was 
it's a misconception that there's no carb carbs in uh, veg and salad because they are carbs. Vegetables and salad are still carbs. They're just called simple carbs as opposed to your complex carbs, which are your bread. Oh, so all that about you can eat as much salad as you want. You've got to go steady then if it's got carbs in it, haven't you? Of course you have, yeah, but they're simple carbs. They're the easiest, easiest metabolised. And you can't really go wrong on them. That's why I still don't understand it. I, I know you're 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 um, still keen on the um, well. It's how you did it on on your shake, your protein shake. Two shakes and a meal at night, yeah. And then you want healthy healthy meal. I'm on I'm on the two two veg. Look when when I say when you say we're on the two veg, or you're on the two protein shakes, and then one healthy meal as early as you can in the night, that's kind of a norm. But we're still normal people. I mean, you fall off. You know, don't don't tell me you don't go and throw a flipping lind and yeah, shot. Gary, do you know when you do you know when you you do that shake thing? You'll go out and you can and then you get pulled into a meeting. And then people are coming over with with with, with uh, lattes and them little lotus biscuits and and you know you you see what I mean, and it's little things like that, and and then forty minutes later, it's another coffee in it because you you're trying to do your job as well as diet, aren't you? So do you find yeah. it hard at getting that balance? No, because um, first of all, like, you'll see me push them little biscuits to one side. I don't fall for that anymore. Uh, and I and I, and I, if I get a coffee now from Costco or anywhere, I'll ask them for full fat pouring cream. Full fat, it's yeah. Skimmed or semi-skimmed because skimmed oh, yeah. and semi full of sugar. So you know, if you were on the keto, you've got a full fat, either full fat milk or full fat cream. And in the Costco's, they do the pouring cream, so I'll have it with that. Yes, there's calories in it, but you you've got to be careful here because if keto is not about calorie deficit, keto is about cutting out sugar and eating fats. Protein. I thought so, it was sugars and carbs, isn't it? It's cutting out, isn't it? Keto is, is it? Sugar. Uh, carbs is just another word for sugars. Oh yeah, yeah. All oh, right, right. Okay. A carb, sugar. Yeah, yeah. But that's just the same then. Both names are saying carbs are sugars. Yeah. All right, carbohydrates. Yeah. And fats. But it, it's daft as it's, <laughs> it sounds. Um. Your, your, your carbs are the first thing your body takes when it, it wants energy. Um, proteins, your muscle. That's why bodybuilders eat every three hours and they have to put so many grams of protein in. Otherwise, they can't build the muscle. And fats, ironically enough, are just stored energy. It's your surplus. It's your most powerful thing stored on the body is your fats. Yeah. Everything's in there. You know, some people in the diet industry call it going to heaven. If Is that you why get... we never see fat cavemen in olden days? You won't see fat cavemen like you won't see many people fat in prison, will you? No. You know, I've had, I, I, I don't know. I've had loads. I, I can see this, um, uh, this, this video um, going all down the, the wrong avenues again because I, I, I've read quite a few of the comments this time. And I've wrote, I've, I mean, I don't, God knows why we're not getting many uh, viewers, Russ, whether it's because we're not numbering the videos or whether they're not called diet videos and people can't search them. I've got no idea. But um, people, need, people need to, if they like these videos, they need to share them because there was only 692 views for this video. I don't know if you noticed that. And 15 comments. But because there was only 15 comments, I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to engage with them 15 comments. Oh, really? listen, because... listen to me. You know, when what? I started this boxing channel, this is a yeah. video, isn't it? I've done, about, what? I've done about 10 videos, and none of them were on 50 views, mate. So was I... it? Can you get your head down, Russ? Because I can't quite see. You, oh, you, yeah. you cut... Sorry, mate. What I was saying is when I started this channel, yeah. right, after about 10 videos... You yeah. want to get 50 views on each video. This is eighth one, and you, you're saying you got 690 on It's something new in it. It's something extra on top of the boxing, and you just have to persevere with it. It doesn't happen overnight. If it were easy, 
everybody would be doing it, wouldn't they? Yeah, I'm so passionate. Yeah, but all your SC videos are getting one and two thousand. Yeah, because they're looking that they're, they're not they're not diet videos, are they? No. Do you know what I mean? This is something different, isn't it? It's not but, for everybody. Right. Stuff, is it? So to new boxing fans out there that are into dieting, please share these videos and get these numbers. Share Gary's up. videos because right. it's it, it about dieting. It, yeah, it devotes motivates me and I, and I, and I, and I think it's not worth doing if if not many people are interested, do you know what I mean? Well, Gary, if you started your own channel doing diet videos, it'd be 30 views or 20, wouldn't it? So it's more than what you would have done if you are you know, you know what I mean, kind of thing? I'm not looking to start my own video, am I? Or if anything, no, I just... understand that, but the point I want to make is it doesn't happen overnight, does it, all like this? You're not just going to go viral. on Because if you were going to go viral, you'd have to be an expert. And how much have you lost? Who? How much have you lost since since we last weighed you? Two pound, is it? I've lost seven pound. Or I'm sixteen two now. I sent you uh, a copy. Yeah, of yeah, it. yeah. You're sixteen two, right? So that's so you started off at the beginning at sixteen nine. So and what and so all together in two and a half months you've lost half a stone. Yeah. yeah. Well done. So times 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 that times times that by four. That's ten months, and I've lost. Um, two, yeah. I've lost two stone, huh? Yeah, that, but not, I, let's not get carried away with us and now that that's because you, you might be stuck on this weight for a bit now. How, how how many days have you been on this weight? Um, I think I've lost two this week, haven't I? Was it, no, 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 it's three weeks ago, wasn't it? Was it sixteen five? I think last time. Yeah, yeah, I think you're off sixteen five point six or something, wasn't it? Something like that. Think it was, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you've lost three pounds since then in the last two weeks. Um, what, what am I two, three, four? No, I've lost, lost. Look, I'm not. I'm not bothered whether I've lost a pound a week. What I'm bothered about is getting down to fifteen stone or fourteen stone, eleven pound yeah. for the same time in November. So I'm on course. It's not electrifying. I'm not like super excited. I'm not reporting, oh, I've lost half a stone this week because I don't think that I'm, I I think I have, I, I think that my body doesn't want to be much less than, I know, I know you're going to say, well, neither did mine, but I'm not sure. And I said this on the last video, I don't know if I want to try to do any more than I'm doing. I mean, I want to go through these comments, Russ. There's, there's about 10 yeah, comments. Yeah, go on then, go for them. Can I do that? Can I just I say this, Gary? Like, do you know yeah. this weight loss that you want to you want to lose? Yeah, it doesn't happen overnight, you know. And you'd be amazed, you know, the human body. It's amazing what you could. I never thought that I could be like pushing twenty nine stone, and that just I could in. get. I I never thought I never just thought that I could be pushing twenty nine stone, and then ten year later, be under nine stone. I didn't think the, my body could do that. So you'd be amazed. I, what, can't, what about concentration camps? Because that's what I looked like, didn't I? I had an head like told, a skull. Your body is an amazing but, thing, you know, I can do out. But I've told you that I've told you this before. Your weight loss is the most ama most ama amazing feat. I don't even know why I'm doing these videos, really, because really it should be porky, at least porky gas, and there should be a before and after picture. You're I'm doing these with you, aren't I? Because I'm trying to, like, G you up to get yours. Yours, yours is a massive, massive yeah. um, achievement journey, isn't it? Yeah. But the reason I want to read all these, because even though I'm very close to what you're doing, both, both our, our diets are starvation. No matter which way you look at it, yeah. you've got I've to start. Two shakes today. I've had two shakes today, and it's twenty past five, it's at seven o'clock. I've got a jacket tate you with uh, some cheese and beans. That'll do me. It's like it, it's like you said to me about boxers. I mean, I mean, people think that they've got this concept. It's about what you eat. When a boxer's in his in in, in his six weeks training camp, he's being fed scraps, simple carbs, and a bit of protein. And the day before the weight, you, you've told me, Carl, you've been climbing the walls, just trying to starve yourself to get that weight off. It's the only way it'll come off. Yeah. If you're putting more calories in your body than you're burning off, really, you'd think it stands to sense, wouldn't you? But 
it doesn't, does it? Because the whole world's sold by the food manufacturers on what to eat and drink to lose weight. No, no, the easiest thing is what you did. Stop putting it in there. Yeah, when you, Gary, you know when you're driving, uh, you know you've missed I, a meal. Gary, you know when you're driving and you've missed a meal and you're thinking, well, I can't eat that for three hours because I'm going to go home. And then I've not had no for eight hours. You're really hungry. You know when you're getting them cramps? That's when you, 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 uh, your body, your intermittent you, fasting, it's feasting on all that stuff. You have, fats. you have said it. And it, even when that's happening to you, I know you're climbing the walls and all that, but you don't feel ill, do you? You feel bright. You feel alert. Because you, your body's gone to heaven. It's gone into your fat stores. And everything it needs is there. Some of these videos that I'm going to read out to you, they're all talking again about eat more protein, don't do you mean, this. Don't do you mean do the comments? Yeah, not videos, comments, yeah. The, the comments, yeah, but off the video. Go on, read them out, read them out, so have a listen. The first one off, CF Butcher, right? I haven't heard you mention protein mush. Lean meat, like chicken, keeps you full for longer and speeds up metabolism. You can't just have vegetables. Balancing it is the key. Exercise. And all right, it's been very nice and you can do it but the point that I'm getting at and I'll say it at the beginning and I'll say it at the end if every viewer that we've got from now to next week stopped eating and just drank water would they lose weight? Yeah of course they would yeah so it's not about balanced eating is it? No. And, and would they be ill? No, but what I suggest is just have a couple of bites here, meal, portion control, bring it down. Bring it I know, down. and all I'm saying, all I'm saying, Russ, is nobody can do that. I can't do it. Not eating is not natural. I know. God gave us food to eat to live, and we're trying to reverse that. We're trying to, we're trying to not eat. Well, it's worse than drinking drugs. Yeah, but we're over, if you have over it, you've got enough on your body. Absolutely. If you're fat, you're never going to die of starvation, are you? No. If you've got anything on your body. You'd you're be all right on a desert island, wouldn't you, guys? I mean, me, one of the guys also said to me, um, um, in, talked about insulin resistant because I'm type two diabetes, and 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 great, and I and I and I welcome the advice, but when the body is in starvation mode, right? So when you're climbing them walls and you go into your fat stores, you're in something called ketosis. And that means your body's producing ketones. And ketones are the healthiest thing in the world for the brain and the sugars and the body and the whole system. You know, so the more often you're in ketosis, which is what the objective of the keto diet is all about, that's the best state anybody can ever be in. Watch all the fasting visit videos. There's thousands of them on YouTube about how healthy you are when you're in when you're in fasting. Unbelievable. So so yeah, he, he, you know, he, even though Mr. Butcher uh, is talking about um, all the right stuff, I'm not saying that it's wrong because it isn't. You know, all these things are contributors, but it's can you get them all done in order? In, in, in I've always got one or two of them right and and one wrong. I mean, another one talks about uh, exercise. Christ, I used to play squash five times a week. I used to go to Kerry Case's gym, better bodies. I used to have a personal uh, trainer for bodybuilding. Unless you get them all right, exercise isn't ultimately the key. Unless you, if you're if you're can exercise all you want, if you're eating more than you're burning off, you're still going to be fat. I did it. I went from. 12 stone to 15 and a half stone from 20, age 27 to 40, playing squash five times a week. Oh. It, it just doesn't work unless you, you're eating less than you're burning. No, the other one, Steve Finch, and, oh, well, I've just said it, he says get a personal trainer, you know, keep your head up, you know, uh, and he admires me honestly, but <laughs> I've, had, I've, had, I've had personal trainers, you know, and I'm not Look, my head's not down, Russ. Yeah. The, the realisation of fighting these food devils and trying to go as long as what you can without food is hard, but you do get better at it. You know that. You get better at it. 
And as you get better at it and you can skip that what I mean, I've probably got myself to two meals a day. I'll get right through to the mid-afternoon now. I, I tell a lie. I've started taking six eggs with me, you know, because I'm going this court case. Yeah. So I, I boil six egg, eggs and they're on the seat at the side of me. So I go through the day. And when I get hungry, I just nip to my car, peel it, throw it in, and go back in court because we get like two breaks a day in lunchtime. Oh. So I'm usually boiled. In. I mean, another one, somebody... In one of these one of these comments, I'll get to talked about eggs. Have you ever thought about eggs and asking me about my testosterone? I mean, I didn't know eggs were good for that, but I'm a big, big believer in eggs. And another another one of my videos is Doctor Berg on eggs. Yeah. What's that? You if you like eggs, uh, Christopher Ashton, right? Um, don't say saying to me again. Don't think protein is your enemy. You know, and that uh, my unhappiness um, com is coming from that. Well, it, it isn't. It, it, it really isn't. Um, I've done, as I said, I've done 40 years of exercise. I've done the keto diet. I've done the protein diet. I've done all the diets. I've done 40 years of dieting. Yeah. And I've come to the conclusion that the porky way, which is calorie deficit, is the only way. My way, vegetables and uh, just one meal at night and trying to not even have three meals a day, try and have two. We call it OMAD in that diet group that I've got, one meal a day. And that's also on Healthy Keto. Uh, Dr. Berg, most of what I do these days is um, Dr. Berg off, um, off YouTube. You know, this morning um, I at my mate's house, Gary Wright, I used to go there years ago, back in the day, when I was a big lad. I used to go around for a fry-up once a week. You uh, said that about me, didn't you? Once a yeah, week. Yeah, once but... a week. And he, he, today I went, and now it's changed. It's as big as an house. Four sausages, four bacon, four fried egg, mushrooms, ash browns, round of toast, all lot, all laid on fry, two slices of fried bread, cup of tea. Yeah. A full pint of fat fat milk and a pint of fresh orange, and he does that every Saturday. Well, Mick, well, you were telling me that Mickey Theo believes in that as well, don't hey, you? Well, Mickey Theo calls it the trying to t trick your metabolism once a week, just eat junk. You know what my problem is, though, don't you, Russ? You know, I don't have to wait while Saturday to have that junk. I do fall down. Everybody does. Yeah, you, you go many days and you'll fall down, and I think everybody will do that quite naturally. Look at me overnight. I went to bed with a jar of Nutella. Got up next day, I put two pounds on. I was mortified. <laughs> <laughs> so easy done, well, isn't it? Here's one comment here. Steve, Steve MC, start living like a monk. What's that? Well, that probably means just... Uh, just Two shakes a day, three shakes a day, and that's it. No else. <laughs> Don't know what he means. Starve well, yourself. Well, 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 therefore, he's talking the same game as us, then, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, and then a, another chap called Lee saying, I won't accept advice. And I was kind of saying, well, that's not true, Lee, because um, if someone can prove that calorie deficit isn't the way, um, then I've got to just stick to calorie deficit it's not that i won't listen to advice i've i've done all the diets what what more advice can i have done other than i've done them and, yeah. I, and i've given up to be honest with you apart from um meeting you russ really and realizing hey well what about just stop shoving it in your gob what about stop eating what about starving yourself what about climbing the walls what about working for it what about realizing you're not going to do this without without effort you know yeah and where i am and even even now i'm i'm trying hard and it's, it's, uh, i don't mean to be boring i'm trying hard again yeah. not easy not eating is not easy i found the way i know i found the way can i do it i'm on with it i've got seven pound off in two and a half months but it's not great is it no, but you've kick-start your metabolism and your body's in shock now, so maybe more weight will come off, Gary, because you was you were stuck on a certain weight ages, weren't you? 
Well, yeah, I bet, well, I've been stuck on 16.9 for the last two years. I lost all my weight, I lost my three and a half stone, and then stuck at 16.9. Yeah. I'm at 16.2, so maybe there's a sign there, I don't know. Is there a sign there? I'm breaking it slowly. Mm. So I'm just reading. I'm just reading here. Well, sorry, I'm going silent. Go on, mate. Go on. Last nine minutes. Go on. We've got nine minutes. Okay, let's have a look at what uh, the same same guy is. He, um, um, is it the same guy? Oh yes, yes. This book has you're never going to lose weight on the. Uh, on uh, four four pints and four magnums every night. <laughs> My answer to that is, well, that depends if it's still within calorie deficit, doesn't it? If that's all yeah, was Oh, Gary, there we an answer for everything on a diet eating magnums. <laughs> that's what he's saying. But, but he's... You start? Does he know you starve your son all day for them magnums, Gaza? That, that's what I mean. I said that, didn't I? That that, but that you know. But he, he probably thinks that they're they're like extras, but they're not. They they kind of was instead of. But yeah. even even though I'm doing what I'm doing, it's a tough. It's a tough all. It, it's a, it's still a tough number, you know. And I keep thinking to myself sometimes, what am I doing this for? I mean, one one comment was was even a nice comment um, saying, "Well, don't you think you've lost enough weight? Do you need to lose any more weight? Do you need all this pain?" And I, and I think it's because I'm a fighter, Russ. I've never give up on anything, you know. So you know, I just keep, I just keep on the good fight. Um, I know it was that I was just seeing it. Is that uh, Mr. Butcher again? I don't know his first name. C. F. Butcher is saying uh, you look like you've lost a decent amount anyway. And then another one was saying that don't necessarily be fooled by the scales. I don't know if you know about this, Russ, but he's talking about getting a. Um, Fat me measure on rather than a ounces measure on because you might, that, might, might body, fat. Fat, body fat measurement. I had that done last week. What is it? Body fat measurement. What What do you do to get that? You know, they go measure your body fat, don't they? Yeah, well, I, I guess I could do that at some point, but I don't think it'll change what I'm doing as such. It might, it might give me a bit more inspiration, but you know. What what might seem like negativity for me isn't really because it, if if I'm in a negative mode, it means I'm I'm still battling with it. And while you're battling with it, you 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 got a chance. It's when you stop stop the battle, you stop the negativity, and you go carefree. You know, I, I always it was a classic to me. You, know, you see it, women, didn't you? Weight Watchers, and uh, they might lose one or two stone, and then come off it, and then go, oh, I'm never going dieting again. I did that flipping Weight Watchers. I've lost two and put four on. Well, they only put four on because they start getting weighed. You you wouldn't you wouldn't just put four on, would you? You know, if you're monitoring it. Uh, another guy called Danny D. Here agrees with calorie deficit, but points to fluid and weight. Here's an interesting one, Russ, because it's the same one we were talking about. He says, "But if you all go to bed on four pints." Um, uh, or whether it's four pints of water or whatever it is, each pint weighs 1.25 pounds. So you're, you're going to bed with five pounds a night in your body in water. So yeah, that's uh, true, that that's true, that because I yeah. use a lot of water at night and get up and I'd be heavier. Yeah, well, I put it up. Me and, Russ, me and Russ agree with that. We've, we've covered that, haven't we? That, that you can you're swing faster, your... you can't but... have water, you can't yeah. have oat. No. Yeah. And then I wanted to ask you that one. Is that like the boxes? I got told that the box. Do you think box the boxer does right when he's? Do you know George Groves before he fought Frotch? Right? Do you know the night before it was yeah. one seventy-seven? The night before, you know, tea time the day before, weighing one seventy-seven. Got on scales yeah. at one six eight. Some what twelve twelve? No, it's not even twelve, is it? 12, 6, 7. 19 hours later, he took off nine nine and a half pounds. So it's only water that's coming out of your body. You just keep going to the toilet for the day, don't you? You're all not eating, not, not drinking. You're going to the toilet, you're draining all that last bit of water out. And the last bit of water to come out of your, your body when you're draining it, even if you do it in saunas, is the water around your brain. 
So your brain doesn't have as much padding around it. This is why they're always going on about boxers being dehydrated and that the last bit of water is drained from behind the brain. So, so they don't. So, so what? So so <coughs> but, uh, so I I've got it wrong when I've heard that boxers just drink water, loads of water. They don't. Yeah, they do. But when it comes to draining that last few pound off. They starve the stents, won't they, for 48 hours or 24 hours and just trying to drain every little bit out of themselves and not eat anything. They're draining out. They're getting that last few pound out. They'll cut the nails. They'll shave their hair. They'll have a shave. They'll be in a sauna. They'll do anything to just drain it out. And the last bit of water, Gary, is the bit yeah. that protects the brain. How many you got left? Four minutes to go. I've got eight. I'm on. I'm on for. I've only got because uh, we've kind of covered a lot of them in the same conversation. Save some for next week if you want. If you just want to do a couple more. No, because look, unless you've got something else you want to say, it's just let's cover Timbo, right? Yeah. Again, another one saying I come across as negative, um, and get myself a personal trainer. And I just wanted to say to Timbo that I've had loads of personal trainers, you know, and I'm not being negative, and I do agree with a combination of well balanced food and exercise to so weight loss. Right, but to me, it's about portion size too, and it's about lots of things, you know. But here's the really best way stop eating and drinking. Your body will then go into fat stores and take whatever healthy meals it wants, and that's it. I agree with that, and I agree with that. I think when all else fails, just right, that's it. I'm not eating, I'm just gonna have minimal three pot three meals a day, couple of mouthfuls each meal. Or just have your two shakes and a jacket take you. And stick to it and have it at the same time, guys. Yeah. Well, I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. trying. Yeah, if you're a fridge in your house, if I go in your fridge, which I have been in, if I go in your fridge, I'm not now. I, I look at, I see some stuff in your fridge and I'll, I look away because I'll be like, if I open that again, I'll just be eating that. And so I don't have it around me. I don't know if you've thought about that, Gary. You'd be absolutely, Ross. If you go in our fridge from one week to next, you'll see the same stuff in there. Because I'm on, once you start going on this uh, not eating lark, right? You, whatever you look at in the fridge, you can't have because you can only have that veg soup. You've got a big pan, aren't you? That big chrome pan, aren't you? In there. All them, other things, all them other things are the things that used to be in the fridge that used to be consumed. I throw, I, I empty that fridge every week, throw most of it in the bin. Get it. Jane, Jane's not dieting like me, so bear that in mind as well. But I don't, I, I don't eat out of that fridge. But tangerines, you'll see me go for. And I know they're a bit naughty, but sometimes uh, if I haven't got. Um, berries in strawberries or something like that and I, I do like a couple of tangerines but if you if, if you're starving yourself to be honest with you it don't matter what you put in your body doesn't know the difference really between a carb uh, or, or 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 fat or protein yeah. if it's starving it'll just eat it all yeah do you want do you want me to send you another link or do you want to finish this off in no. next? listen 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 I, I'm, I'm done with so, it all right well, listen, yep. all I can say, Gary, is well done on losing half a stone in two and a half weeks. I'm proud of you. I'm right, sure you'll get you. loads of people. Give him a, give him a, and some nice comments and give him some activity. <laughs> well, having a go at him. Well, if you can, if, if you can, if, if, if they could get the numbers up, Russ, for us, that, that, that'd inspire me more. In other words, can you share these diet videos? Because it's important to Gary and it's important yeah. to me, but it's important to Gary because. He's passionate about dieting and, and he's conquered everything else in his life except this. <laughs> and and I'll that is. Yeah, listen, Russ, I'm not daft. I give myself 12 months to get £24 off. That's only £2 a month. Yeah. But I'm, I'm only just on the line, aren't I? I'm yeah. doing it. I'm just, you are, I'm mate. Right? mate. It's going gonna, it's gonna to cut out, mate. Well, listen, thanks for coming on, Gary. You've been a star. Well Welcome. done on losing your half a stone. When we see you next week, I want to see another two pound off. We're at 16 stone, your target. We'll see. Peace out. Ounces. All right. Bye. Porky's Corner is proud to be sponsored by Spartan Site Solutions. They are specialists in civil engineering and demolition contracts for the construction industry. Interested parties should visit their website or contact 
poor Chris Corner for a referral at porkycorner at mail.com.